Hey guys, so today I'm going to be looking at more Am I Wrong stories. Yeah, let's just get right into the video. I am very, very frustrated. My son has been married to my daughter-in-law for three years now. I have always made extra dishes that didn't include meat to accommodate her. No matter how much it was a pain to do, I always made sure she had options to eat when I hosted or when she was over. She's a vegetarian and at one point tried to go vegan. My son and her never hosted due to living in a small apartment, but that changed since they have bought a new home. They are having a dinner this week and I called her to remind her I'm allergic to nuts. She then informed me that she doesn't have time and to bring my own food. She told me that she cooks a lot with different nuts and she can't make adjustments to her menu. <laughs> this is where I might be the jerk. I told her I will not be going and neither will my husband. That I have accommodated her for years and not once have I made her bring her own food. This started an argument where she thinks I am being unreasonable. My husband is on my side but my son and her are very upset. <gasps> The son thinks his own wife did something great? Crazy. So she only knows how to cook dishes with nuts in them? <laughs> That's pathetic. You know what's crazier? Is the fact that the daughter-in-law is vegetarian and the mother-in-law accommodated her for her dietary needs, whatever, right? But the mother-in-law is literally allergic to nuts, so she can die eating a nut. But the daughter-in-law won't die eating meat, right? And the mother-in-law still accommodated her. But the daughter-in-law won't even accommodate this. When someone can literally die from allergic reaction, you know, it's not that she's choosing to not eat nuts. She literally cannot eat nuts. Oh my God, that's so crazy. <laughs> yeah, I would never go back there. I hate people like that who think people should always do things their way. All right, moving on. So me and my roommate have been living together for a year now in college and we have one attached bedroom. My roommate is the laziest person I know and lays down for days on end. He also uses the bathroom for hours every time he goes in and three plus hours when he needs to trim his beard twice a week. He also needs minimum 45 minutes in the bathroom every morning. So if we have 8 a.m. classes, I am expected to be done and ready by 7.15 a.m. It sounds completely unreasonable and I too could have used some extra sleep on some days since I only need about 10 minutes in a bathroom anyway. But he's a really old friend of mine so I try to adjust. 3 plus hours in the bathroom, what the hell are you doing in there? Like this, he also reserves the bathroom for X time to X time because he has to get ready to go somewhere and I'm just not to use it during that interval. I'm happy to coordinate as well because I hardly need much time in the bathroom. The problem is that he's also the laziest person I know. So even though I'm not using the bathroom because of him, he also continues to lay down and not use it at all. And the bathroom just stays empty and unused. Now, if I try to use it after that, suddenly he has to use it and will not continuously saying, dude, I have class too. Even though 90% of the time he ends up not going anyway. If I tell him how he doesn't use the bathroom, nor does he let me, he'll say things like, yes, but it's night time, so it doesn't matter when I go as long as you don't go. But the bathroom isn't like a plain seat that you can reserve, right? It's a shared asset. So I've now decided to wait for 10 minutes only and use the bathroom anyway while ignoring his knocking during the reserve time. <laughs> Which brings me here. I don't mind letting him reserve the bathroom as long as he at least uses it. But him just laying down while I have to wait till his time is over really bothers me. Oh, so he doesn't even actually need that time to go to the bathroom. So like, let's say he needs to go to the bathroom at like 8 a.m. He will lay down until 8.20 to use the bathroom. But then this person is not allowed to use the bathroom at 8 a.m. Because the time is reserved. Like, what the heck is that, bro? I'm sorry, but if anyone pulls this shit, I'm smacking them. <laughs> Imagine controlling how someone's allowed to use the bathroom. <laughs> and you're not even in the bathroom, you idiot. If you have a sibling, you will know how it feels when you're like doing something, right? And all that time they could have went in the bathroom and after you're done working out and you need to hop in the shower, well, all of a sudden they need to go now. Like they could have went when you were working out, but they didn't. They chose to go when you want to go. <laughs> oh my God. My dad is a typical overprotective dad who didn't let me or my younger sisters wear nice clothes, go on dates, have male friends, have guys on social media or anything else. My mom goes along with whatever he says. It was much harder on my sisters because it turns out I'm asexual with romantic attraction to women. Because I was happy to wear baggy flannels and hang out with my girls, my parents constantly used me as an example to my sisters. It caused a lot of resentment which still lingers. 
I finally came out to them after the holidays because one, I'm finally sure of my identity and two, my mom started making when are you giving me grandbabies comments now that I'm old. My mom is struggling but trying. My dad is not taking it well. He keeps suggesting therapy, sending me weak links, trying to set me up, etc. Last time we talked, he started with, I must be a terrible father. Where did I go wrong? I snapped. I told him that he shouldn't be surprised I turn out like this since he never even let me dress or act feminine and yelled at me every time I talked to boys. I told him that it was too late for me and if he wanted to save my sisters, he should let them do normal girl things. <gasps> nice! He hasn't talked to me since. My mom kept asking me to apologize and just try therapy because apparently his spirit is broken. My sisters are conflicted because they can finally breathe, but he's completely withdrawn from them now. They don't want me to back down though because they're afraid of things going back to how they were. To clarify, I know he didn't make me gay. I knew when I said it that it wasn't true, but I said it anyway just to make the harassment stop. I mean, good. Seriously, like, the dad needs to mind his own business and let his daughters do whatever they want that's actually the best comeback to those parents though because imagine your parents not allowing you to talk to the opposite sex and all of a sudden you come out and they're like you need therapy where did i go wrong you know where you went wrong <laughs> because you didn't allow me to talk to boys so now i like girls haha <laughs> is that what you wanted thanks bye at least the sisters can finally breathe now and go out with whoever they want now because i'm pretty sure they're old enough right <laughs> Oh my. Well, that's it for the video. Hope you guys enjoy. Tell me in the comments down below what your thoughts are. And as always, thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked it. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.